Okay, so we've got a roller car and it's winched to the top of a big dipper at a fun fair. The mass of the car and the passengers is 700 kilograms. The weight of one kilogram is 10 newtons, so it's basically saying G equals 10. What is the change in potential energy between A and B? So the change in potential energy is the mass times gravitational field strength times the change in height. It starts at 20, ends up at 10, so we're going to do 10 minus 20 because it's final minus initial. So it loses 70,000 joules of gravitational potential energy. Okay. Okay, so assuming the car started from rest at A, what is the maximum value of kinetic energy the car and the passengers could then have at B? So the maximum is 70,000, so all the GPU you've lost is turned into kinetic energy. That will be the maximum. Why is it the maximum? Well, in reality, some of it is going to get transferred to other forms, uh, mostly heat by drag and by friction, um, but that would be the maximum possible kinetic energy if all the GP turned into kinetic energy, which never happens pretty much. What's the maximum speed of the car at B? So kinetic energy is half mv squared. So the V is, we're going to rearrange that. So we're going to get square root of 2ke over m. And then we plug the numbers in and we get the speed is 14 meters per second. So a playground, a child who has mass of 30 kilograms climbs a vertical distance of 2 meters up a ladder in a playground. How much potential energy does he gain? Well, it's going to be mg delta h. This time we're going to get a positive number because they're going upwards. So we get 3 times 10 times 2, 600 joules. So he sits at the top of the slide, lets himself go from rest. When he slides off the bottom, he has 240 joules of kinetic energy. How fast is he going? So we're going to use k equals half mv squared. Again, rearrange to make speed the subject to the equation, plug the numbers in, and we get 4 meters per second. How much energy is wasted doing work against frictional forces? Well, we said that initially he'd gained 600 joules of GPE, but he's only got 240 joules of kinetic energy. So the, the work done against him must have been 360 to account for the difference. And it's a negative number because you're doing work against them. So essentially what that means is 360 joules have been turned to heat because that's what friction does. The slide is three meters long. What is the average value of the frictional force exerted on the child as he slides down? So we know that work done is force times distance. So we now know the amount of work done, 360 joules. We know the distance, three. So it's going to be 120 newtons. So the diagram shows a car on a roller coaster ride. We've got the mass of 600 kilograms, kinetic energy 160 kilojoules or 160,000 joules. Calculate the speed of the car at A. So we know the kinetic energy, we know the mass, so we can rearrange and solve for velocity 23 meters per second. So as the car travels from A to B, it loses 40 kilojoules of energy due to friction. The car just manages to roll over the crest of the hill at B. Calculate the height. Okay, so to get the change in GPE, we need the amount of work we've done. So that's minus 40,000 and subtract the change in kinetic energy. So it's going to lose kinetic energy. So the change in kinetic energy is going to be negative. So we end up with a difference of 120,000 joules, essentially. Okay, so if you then put that into the equation, we rearrange to get the change in height, and then we can see that we end up being able to go upwards by 20 meters. So at C, the car is slowed down by a shallow tank of water, and the kinetic energy of the car is reduced to zero. Make three suggestions for what happens to the kinetic energy. So. So the kinetic energy of the water increases. If it causes a splash, that means the water is now moving and flying away. So it's going to have kinetic energy. It could also be splashed upwards. So the water could gain GP. 
And then final thing is uh, the temperature of the car itself, I reckon, is going to rise because drag and friction will work against it and increase its temperature. Same way if you like rub your hands together, your friction causes your hands to warm up. It's the same kind of thing here. Um, but I wouldn't include sound in this because sound accounts for such a small amount of wasted energy generally anyway. So a car of mass 900 kilograms is traveling at a steady speed of 30 meters per second against a resistive force of 2000 newtons. Okay, calculate the kinetic energy of the car. Uh, well, it's gonna be half mv squared. Uh, that gives us our kinetic energy of 405,000 joules or 405 kilojoules if you prefer. Calculate the energy used in one second against the resistive force. So, uh, the distance is going to be the average velocity tra uh, traveling at times by time. So we can do 30 times one because it's 30 meters per second. So it does 30 meters every second. And once we've got distance, we can multiply that by the force to get the work done. And that's 60,000 joules. Uh, you could definitely have minus 60,000 here because it's working against the car, but it would just basically is looking for the size. What is the minimum power that the car engine has to deliver to the wheels? Well, we are delivering 60,000 joules every second to replace the work we've done against the resistive force. So our engine is going to have to do 60,000 joules of work every second to keep it traveling at steady speed. And joules per second is a watt, the unit of power. What form of energy is in the fuel used to drive a car? Well, if it's petrol or diesel, it's going to be chemical potential energy. And state why the energy in the fuel is converted at a greater rate than you have calculated in C. So the car might be gaining GPE. It could have been going up a hill or potentially it could have been transferred to heat inside the car. Remember, our model included friction and drag already, for, which is acting sort of outside the car. So it, we can't say that as our answer. But inside the car, there are going to be all sorts of uh, energy transfers and it might be transferred to heat inside it. And that completes this conservation of energy solutions.